What is going on, Brotherhood? Today we're going to be doing something just, you know, a little bit different. I, I was kind of running out of ideas for videos, so I decided we'd do WWE figures and stop motion. We're going to set up some crazy table towers and just throw figures through it for fun and then do it in stop motion. Why not? I don't know. I just thought it'd be cool. Anyways, the first thing we're going to do here, we do have a ladder set up, three tables on the outside of the ring, and we've got Dean Ambrose and AJ Styles on top of the ladder in the Dirty Deeds position. So, I guess I'll just kind of knock Dean Ambrose backwards. Uh, here we go. Well, that went as I expected. Uh, let's set up another thing. So up next, we do have this giant table and ladder tower. As you can see, two tables on the bottom. There's a table kind of balancing on the two of those. Two ladders on top of the tables, and then a giant ladder on top of the two ladders. And I do think that Braun Strowman will have no problem sending Roman Reigns crashing through this. So let's do it. What carnage, oh my god. For our next Tower of Doom, we do have two tables, and Cesaro is taking a nap on the couch on top of the two tables. But sadly for him, we got Neville coming in on top of him. So let's see how this one goes. I'm kind of curious, because those ultimate tables don't like to break as easily as the metal ones we've been using so far. So it should be kind of interesting. Let's try it out. As predicted, the ultimate tables did not break, only the couch. So this one was kind of a disappointment. I guess we won't be using as many of those ultimate tables, but let's get on to the next tower. Up next, we have this pyramid of steel chairs. It's kind of hard to see, but there's four chairs on each side on the bottom. So eight chairs on the bottom, then two on a layer, and then one balancing in between them. And for this one, Triple H is going to pedigree Stone Cold Steve Austin right through all this. So let's do it. Well, again, this one wasn't really that impactful, but it was still pretty cool. Kind of how all these chairs like shot out of the way. And uh, Triple H is kind of in an awkward position now. But let's get on to the next tower. Up next, we do have this big tower of tables. So as you can see, there's two uh, wood-colored tables followed by the Dudley Boys black tables, another wood table, and then on top of there, we do have a steel chair. But Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson are also laying underneath there. So I think we're also gonna need two figures to send through here. So I did go and grab the Samoan brothers, Jimmy and Jey Uso. So I think I'll just kinda send one, have them try and land like right around here or so. I kinda want this all to break since the last two have been disappointing. So hopefully this one goes according to plan, and uh, I guess let's do it. Well, uh, almost all the tables broke. Uh, the black ones didn't. I, I don't know why. I guess I haven't really broken those ones in as well as the brown ones, or the wood colored ones, but even the ones on the bottom broke. But we still have one black table left and another black table left. So that was kind of interesting. I'm sure that'll be really cool and it looks on stop motion whenever I edit this. So let's get on to the next table. This next one is just a bit of everything kind of as you can see. I'm just trying to adjust this camera a little bit better. Uh, we do have two sets of steel steps on the bottom. There's a table in between them right here. A table balancing on top of the steps a WLC table on top of that table, and a regular table on top of that table as well, plus the Andre the Giant Memorial Trophy is laying there kind of on the top of it. And uh, for this one, Undertaker is going to send 
Brock Lesnar to the depths of hell with a huge tombstone pile driver. So let's do this one. Wow, parts kind of went shot everywhere. We got like a piece of the trophy way over here by the stage and there's a piece of the table over here. It would seem that the table on the bottom, these two didn't really break that much. This one did. Yeah, this one broke kind of. This one did not break. I'm guessing that's because one of them got caught up on the steel steps, but you guys should be able to see that much better from the stop motion or not stop motion, slow motion, sorry. I'm, I wonder if I've been saying that this entire time. I hope not. You just made the list. Anyways, let's get on to the next Tower of Doom. Up next, we do have the same sort of thing, just kind of laid it out a little bit differently, but I standed the tables on their sides. We got two tables in between the two steel steps, a table balancing sort of on the bottom part of the steps if they were turned up right. And then, of course, we do have the WLC table. This time, Hornswoggle is going to be laying up there, and delivering this move is going to be Eddie Guerrero, with one of his devastating frog splashes. I'm gonna try and pull the camera back a little bit this time, so hopefully you guys can get a little bit broader of a view. So let's do this one. So once again, it would seem that we didn't break all the tables. I don't know what's up with that. I think Eddie kind of bounced away but again, you guys will probably see it much better than I did. But it's kind of weird how the middle one is not the one that broke. The bottom one actually broke. So that's kind of interesting. We're very, very cool. This is uh, a lot of fun. Uh, it's been a lot of fun, but I think we should get on to the grand finale. I'm going to try and make the biggest tower yet out of pretty much everything we've used so far and more. So let's do it, guys. All right, guys, here is the tower we're going to be using for our grand finale today. Staring at the top, we got Dean Ambrose just chilling there on a chair. The giant ladder, two ladders supporting that with two ultimate tables at the bottom. And then we have this big piece in the middle here. We got Hornswoggle on the bottom, laying on the WLC table, kind of like trying to protect himself almost. I'm going to have a pull pop up right now. Let me know if you guys think Hornswoggle is going to be still be laying there like all perfectly fine after this whole thing is done or if he's going to be like completely destroyed like everything else. And then there's a table above him. Cesaro's chilling on his couch there on top of that table. You can see the lamp there and that's because that lamp is actually on top of tables as well. So this is the grand finale this time. I'm going to put the camera back on the tripod. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you do comment down below. If you want me to do a part two, maybe they make this into some sort of a mini series, maybe like once a month or something like that. Let me know in the comments below. Also, like this video if you did enjoy and subscribe if you're new for more WWE and figure content. Let's not waste any more time. This one, we're going to need some bigger figures. So I have Big Show and he's going to suplex Mark Henry, two more heavy figures to make sure, uh, you know, more of this will kind of break. So maybe we should have been doing this from the start. But anyways, we're going to try that for this tower. I hope you guys do enjoy. Let's not waste any more time. So I think I'm just going to kind of drop them right in the middle right here. Here we go. Oh my! And uh, Hornswoggle did not survive. Although three tables did. The two ultimate tables and the one table at the very back. I'll show you guys here. As you can see, this table is still standing, that table is still standing, and that table is still standing. So I guess for uh, in the future we won't use these ultimate tables because like they're really hard to break. I really need to, you know, break them in a little bit more. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this carnage that was shown in this video. Kind of something very different. I know uh, I'm trying to like sort of try out some new things. I was running low on video ideas and I'm actually away for this weekend. So anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys in my next video. Burn it down.